Hello, everybody. This is Dylan. Thank you for returning to my YouTube channel. I thought today I would do something a little different and just share an excitement for new dolls that are coming out because there has been so many new dolls that have been revealed on Instagram. It's crazy. Like I was trying to think of what to talk about for this video, but there's just so many things. So I've limited it down to three different dolls. Two of them are limited edition dolls, and one of them is a regular Playline doll, but it's a very rare thing, so that's why it's so extra special. So that's what I'm going to be taking a look at here in this video. If this is your first time here, though, hello, my name is Dylan. Welcome to my doll room. As you can see behind me, there's plenty of beautiful things to look at. <laughs> I'm slowly going through my collection on YouTube and sharing it. Um, but today, if you enjoy this content and you enjoy my discussion, please consider subscribing to my channel and saying hello. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be looking at here is actually I'm just going to pull up my Instagram and that way it will be totally easy for me just to share what I have to talk about because I've posted it all there, of course. <laughs> so this is my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, this is probably familiar. So first I wanna talk about the Mirabelle Limited Edition doll, which is coming out on October the 9th in the USA. She's already came out in different places and actually Japan was the first place that we seen her and that's actually where the images of her leaked. So it's really exciting because I love Mirabelle and it was really strange whenever Encanto came out, we didn't get a doll for her. Same with Rai and the Last Dragon. It was really, really strange. We didn't get a doll for her, um, but now we're getting Mirabelle. So I'm wondering if Raya is coming around the river bend somewhere. <laughs> so, but this is the official Shop Disney glam shots of Mirabelle. And of course they have her with a beautiful background and they have her pose. It's just so pretty. Of course the background looks like the Casa Madrigal. <laughs> But I think I just want to talk to you about her design and her elements. I will say straight up, straight up, she is nowhere near what limited edition dolls used to be. I really think she should have her bag or her accordion or some type of accessory other than just the outfit. But for Mirabelle fans and Encanto fans, this is really, really, really nice. And we're very lucky to get this. So... I am impressed just with that, just with getting the character. Um, I do really enjoy her face sculpt. I believe that is the current Mirabelle face sculpt. Actually, I think I have the Mirabelle doll <laughs> right here. So I believe it is this face sculpt that has been blown up to limited edition size, which is perfectly fine by me because I have no problem with this Mirabelle face sculpt. So I think that's what they have done. Her hair has looked a little strange in box. I wonder if since it's just so curly, it's hard to maintain that polished look. But really where she shines is the embroidery on her dress. And we will take a look at that here. Of course, they have the embroidered butterflies around her neck. So lovely. I really, really love that. And this is what I would have always expected from a Mirabelle limited edition doll. So they have embroidered butterflies, embroidered flowers, little embroidered, um, looks like little plants or maybe little leafy kind of details there. So pretty. Her skirt also has the same amount of detail, I think. We can see that here. Some details are gonna have to be, I suppose, printed on versus embroidered. And I get that because some things just wouldn't translate well, but wouldn't it have been so gorgeous just to have all of these as little threads of embroidery? <laughs> so of course it looks like there's little gems that have been placed in between flowers, it's so lovely. And of course, everything that Mirabelle loves is on her skirt. Really, that's where a lot of her character design is, is in her skirt. Let's go take a look again at the front of her skirt. See just how lovely that is. And I really, really love how it says her name across her waist. We'll go look at that here. And of course that is printed on, but I kind of wanted that to be embroidered. <laughs> so there's frills on the bottom of her dress, lace, little squigglies, little, little 
just frilly little things, so pretty. And so that is what I think is the main seller here. And I've seen photos of her at Disney California Adventure, which I'm so jealous if you live near there and you can just go pick her up because I'm on the other side of the country. <laughs> but um, I absolutely think that the embroideries look even brighter and shinier in person. So I'm super excited for Mirabelle. I will be getting her and doing a review of her inbox, but I'm super excited. And of course her shoes are, I believe the same shoes for a classic doll, but they have judged them up and they have made them 17 inch scale. And it looks like they actually have like real ribbon around instead of like molded plastic they have for these. So I'm super excited. So it's like a blown up version of this with extra details. So that is the first doll that we are going to look at that I am super excited about. So let's look at the Playline doll and we'll save the extra limited edition doll for last. So yesterday, Mattel, I suppose this was a leak or she was for sale somewhere else in the world other than the United States on Amazon. Amazon usually post things and post pictures of things. And then that's how we kind of know they're coming. <laughs> but this is a Mother Gothel Playline doll by Mattel. Super excited. I never thought this would really happen because Mattel released the villains like in that three pack, you know? Um, and I thought those were really, really nice. Um, but this, you know, this will be sold um, as far as I know, individually. And I'm just so impressed that, you know, they would know us well enough that we would want a doll of this character, you know, because she's amazing. First off, I will say it looks so much like Cher. <laughs> of course, that's what Mother Gothel or who Mother Gothel is inspired from, just the thick black hair and the facial structure. It is based on Cher. But this is all fabric and I'm very impressed, you know, and I believe this is going to retail for $30. I think that's kind of what I read, but not completely confirmed, but it is just so, so nice. So let's take a look at that face. I mean, I love her makeup. I love her eyebrows. I mean, it looks so much like the film. And of course this looks like a um, new face sculpt for Mother Gothel. I don't know how they could reuse another character from Mother Gothel because she is just so, so um, just unique. And so I love the cheekbones. I love the nose. I believe if you would turn her head, you know, you could see the profile with the nose. So cool. And I love the three little curls in the front. I really hope that in packaging that those stay that way, that that's how we actually get it when this doll comes. And I love, love the hair. So the outfit is actually very nice too. Nothing is plastic here, which is, oh, that's going to a different one of my posts. <laughs> but nothing is plastic here. Like we've seen a lot of like molded on tops and like molded on accessories and which is fine for small children and for playtime and bath time and whatever. But just in terms of like collector worthy movie accurate outfits, this is much nicer. So I really love this piece around her neck. It's like a shiny ribbon, very, very pretty. And the pattern on her dress looks a lot like Mother Gothel's pattern in the film. So really good job, Mattel. This pattern is actually similar to what is on the limited edition Mother Gothel doll. She's way, way back there. You probably can't see her from here, but um, of course this is much, much scaled down, but it is still like that quilted kind of looking pattern. And I really, really love that. She has her wizard sleeves and a band around her waist and that band flows all the way down so lovely and it comes with the magic golden flower and basket so cool so i will be getting this there is a shot of her shoes there they are and of course i think that's what mother gothel wears you know those boots to travel through the woods and do wickedry and <laughs> kill people and you know steal people's babies and stuff is what she does. <laughs> so I'm super excited for this doll. It's just really, really exciting. And I'm sure a lot of other people will be getting her. Okay, so the final thing we're gonna look at today is Jack and Sally limited edition doll set. I'm gonna call this almost like a platinum set. So thank you to the Curse Prince for sharing this initially because he always seems to be so up to date on everything and you know just scouring the the web for whatever pictures of things come out. <laughs> so, but I'm calling this a platinum set because it looks like it's 17 inch. I, I'm not 
for sure on that yet. That is yet to be confirmed, but it looks like this is 17 inch and it reminds me a lot of the princesses and their prince platinum sets in the double size limited edition boxes. So I'm so excited to add this to my collection. It's just so spooky and just such a, a thing to get you into Halloween, <laughs> which I am I love spooky season and we are in spooky season. So I'm so excited. Um, so this really took me off guard. I actually have the ones from the 25th anniversary of The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I really like those. I, I went actually and got those at the Disney store. It was such a fun thing. Um, they were humongous, and I had to struggle to get them back to my car. They were so heavy. Um, it was a rainy day, too, I remember. So uh, those hold a special place in my heart. And I actually own the original Sally from the Disney store. I haven't found Jack for a good price and kind of gave up on it for a while. But so this will be just an, an amazing piece to put next to those. And this is like the ultimate set. You know, I never figured they'd be brave enough to put them both in the same box. So it comes with Jack and Sally, and these are very different from the others. I mean, at first glance, it does make you seem like, oh, it's just the same thing again, but really it's very different. And this time there is a different stand that they give them. So it looks like it's Jack's house in the middle, and it gives little spots for them to, of course, hold their extra heads and their face pieces. But there is zero, and they also have the Santa outfit that Jack of course, wears Sally makes for him from his design. Um, I think that's really cool. I kind of wish he was wearing the Santa outfit, to be honest, <laughs> instead of the, the black and white outfit. But hey, I, I understand. So this is what the box looks like. It's so pretty. And this is just what makes me think that this is like a platinum size box because this looks huge. Um, now that could could not be truly the truth here that this could be like a 12 inch style so we'll just have to see but it has on a tombstone the the logo for the 30th anniversary there's bats and there's like the purple moon it's just so spooky and like this gothic like trim around it just so cool of course there's little zero he's going to be molded completely out of plastic i love his little pumpkin nose so cute this is them from the side. I do want to get closer and take a look at the actual faces for the dolls. So you can see they are, I think, made out of plastic this time. Um, before they've been made out of resin or out of like a hard kind of like stony material. Um, this time to me looks like plastic and that must mean that they will weigh less. Um, but I'm not for sure. I'm really not for sure. It looks, It looks sort of like plastic, but then again, I guess it could be something different. So, and of course, Jack, you could take his whole head off and put a different head on. And with Sally, it's different faces. But Sally here, I see there's plastic around her face in the box to make sure everything stays on right. But Sally even looks plastic, but then again, at the same time, she doesn't. So it's really hard to say, but her hair is so pretty and I love her face and her dress. Everything here is just so nice. So, so nice. So I will be getting this. No idea on the price or size, like I said, but I believe there's gonna be 3,700 of these made. Yes, it says right here, 3,700 will be made. And uh, I really like how it says Jack and Sally down there, really cool. But we will see whenever that comes out. I'd say that will come out in October if I had to guess. All right, everybody, that is all of the things we're going to look at here. I'm super excited to look at all these different things and to buy them. There's a lot of things coming, and I'm sure there's things coming after that. So we'll just have to keep collecting. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed my discussion of these, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and say hello. I always love meeting new people. And of course, stay tuned for my next video. Bye, everyone. See ya.